If I was hosting D-Hop, this is what I would do. Sign, you report, you walk into that room, all gone. So we're back, another episode of the Dan and Ninko Show, episode 98. Eight? 98. 98? Getting up there. Holy shnikes. Two more. I think the 100th episode needs to be you versus Mac Jones, though, in the throw-off. He's, he's going to be in camp. He's going to be he's he, focused in, laser focused. My sources say he fucking hates you. I don't give a fuck <laughs> if Mac Jones hates me. I, yes, you do. I would give him the biggest yes, atomic do. wedgie. I don't give a shit about him. What is Mac Jones doing for me? Is he helping pay my electric bill? What are you going to do when he What's becomes he the franchise quarterback of the New England Patriots? We'll see. He's got a long way to go for that one. And if he is, who gives a fuck? Oh, great. Good job. Go make a lot of money, buddy. Go make 500 million bucks. Great. Do you want to take the out of the bet? The bet that we had, though, I'll let you all for eight hundred bucks right now. He's going to play seventeen games. Yeah. No, I'm okay. No, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> like he's got to play seventeen weeks. We'll see if it happens. He's got to stay upright. Bailey Zappi does not look good yet in OTAs. There, it's OTAs. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It does not matter. Yes, it does. If if Mac Jones didn't look good, in Here, OTAs, I got a question. What would it be? I got a question. What for would you? it be? I got a question. A real question for you. If for some reason, someone doesn't like you. Do you care? No. No. You do, though. I don't give yes, a shit. Yes, you do. I, yes, you on do. On my three children's lives. Yeah. I Nick, don't give a fuck. Nico in the IG comment section. I don't give a shit <laughs> oh, about Mac stop. Jones and if he likes me or not. I, I do. really don't. I think you do. No, I don't. I put it on my kids' lives. That's fucking... <laughs> that, that goes to show you. I don't really... So we can do it when you actually see him. Like, if we do this... I'll say, off. hey, Mac... How you doing? Have yeah. a good year. Stay healthy. Actually, I got a thousand bucks on it. <laughs> like, I don't like who cares? It, why? Here's my thing that a lot of people well, how was in this? general. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. I got into this because you got me heated because I don't give a <laughs> shit. What is this? Um, misguided this is Angel by how would you say that? Litherman's Limited. Litherman's Limited. This beer is a result of Dr. Jones getting in touch with his inner angry Smurf, a true New England IPA loaded with four pounds of hops per barrel. Don't get mad, child. I'm not mad. It's like they're giving might you the Mac me, Jones stuff. Might be my friends. I might need a leave. What is that? Alibi. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, that doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> that's an alibi dude that's bad okay now i'm i'm more upset about that and it all depends alibi <laughs> oh my god okay yeah that's that's that fucked me up that really messed me up this is a concord new hampshire brewery okay can we not make that one a highlight jesus christ <laughs> That one's bad. Brain damage. I claim ba- I claim brain damage. Pretty good. I, very it's hoppy. very good actually. Very hoppy. That's hoppy. That looks like a tattoo. Like in the small Some, of someone's back. Somebody has that on their ankle. Or <laughs> no, it's like the small of their it's back. It's like a devil heart with angels' wings. That's definitely. A, oh, look in the a, wings. There's a. It looks like. A, isn't that what they call a tramp stamp? Might as well be a bullseye. <laughs> What is that from? Oh, that's Wedding Crashers. Alibi. Alibi. <laughs> Alibi. No, I. A L I B I. Ali. That's so. That looks so weird to me. Alibi. All right, let's move on. I'm thoroughly embarrassed. Um. Okay, so Patriots go through mini camp. Mm-hmm. They're hosting Hopkins. Yep. Two days. Two days. So what do you think they do? You think they give them like uh, a room up at the hotel? At the Renaissance? Wine and dine them at the Renaissance at Patriot Place? (laughs) They can't put them there, right? (laughs) Where where else are they going to put them? In in Boston? Put them in Boston, probably, right? Put them in Boston? Yeah. I would would have... Maybe stay at Robert's house? Put them in the Cape? No, just the Brookline. Yeah, but the Cape is... Like, isn't that you know, New England is like, isn't the Cape like, oh, I'm in the Cape. Like the Cape is like the sacred really place the of, you know, 1980s. I don't care about the Cape. Well, you're not from your New Hampshire. 
No, I'm from Massachusetts. You're from New Hampshire. <laughs> I live in New Hampshire now. <laughs> That's my alibi. Live free or die. Yeah. Live free or die. Right. You, you wish you were going to be there as opposed to paying your millionaire's tax and all that. I don't make a million bucks anymore. I try to stay well below that. <laughs> That's what happens when you're retired. So what do you think? So when was the last time you ever saw the Patriots like tweet out or they put the press release out that they're hosting a free agent visit. It's that isn't that it's they've never done that though. It's, prop, it's propaganda. It's trying to it's trying to bring hype and bring in a lot of eyes and bring in some a couple of weeks ago on ESPN they asked me about D-Hop and where he should go and I said it uh, New England would be a great place but nobody really thought that that would be the case because all the smartest people in the room think that they're going to be a last place team. I don't think they're going to be a last place team. I think they're going to shock some people in the division. I said this on Greg Hill show yesterday. The Patriots to me have a great combination and I, they might have the recipe to have a really good defense, like top five, like they could be a top five. I, defense. They could be like top two. Well, I say top five. I mean, top two, that, they have a lot. They have a lot of pieces. That, like a lot of, they they can match up with almost any offense. The way they're they're built right now. If the rookie is really good and shut down rookie, <sighs> but the two rookies huge. though, they're they're saying the third round pick. Um, I can't remember his name. Plays like linebacker, safety, and everything. They're I saying that my, he is just amazing. What's his name? Um, hold on. My sister texted me the other day. She went to school with, um. One of the kids that got drafted's mom, Thornwood, South Holland. I think she's from South Holland. Who? Is it? Uh, I'm looking it up right now. She just sent me it. He's the say. He's the um, DB. I think. Christian Gonzalez. No, I'm talking about Marte Mapu. Mapu. Yep. You know, it's Sacramento State. Oh, man. Sacramento State. I'm, I'm sorry. This is taking too long because I have a family crew. I went to high school with his mom. Who? Amir. Was he Amir drafted? Speed. Amir Speed. From Michigan State. Where is he drafted? Was he yeah, sixth round. Sixth round. All right. We're in a 4 3 3 40 yard dash. Whoa. It's pretty fast. But yeah, I think their defense is going to be unbelievable. And you know, so the I, offense, the offense isn't going to be it's not going to be bad. I'm saying the style. It's not to me, I don't think it's going to be your 2007 Pats or anything that's like explosively crazy to watch and everyone's just like, oh, they're going to break records. They're going to be yeah. the, that grind it out, run the ball, physical, tough. Play like play off your defense, turnovers smarter than the other team, and I think they're. I think that they will compete for the division. I do believe. I don't think it's going to be. Ooh, the, the roller coaster's up now. No, I never said that they were going to be finished last place in the division. I never said that. I said they're going to have how many wins? Give it like a week. I said they're going to have eleven wins. Yeah, right. You did the same thing last year, and then you went to four. Well, that then you went to nine, then you went to five, the, then you and went you've to, been they're going to the Super Bowl on every take. So yeah, basically, I'm a realist on what I see. <laughs> Last year they looked like shit, so they went down to four wins in my book. This year, I'm high on their defense. I'm high on their offense being better than they were last year, which could correlate to a division that's competitive. And I'm not crowning the Jets champs or AFC contenders, they're the Jets still. Like, they still... Oh. Now they have all the expectations. Now they have what the Patriots every single season had. Everyone just blowing them and saying they're going to be the, the division champs and they're going to be in the AFC championship they're the game. They're still the Jets. They still have to go do it. And now they have all this hype around them. They might start drinking the Kool-Aid. They yeah. might start freaking... Especially a lot of the young guys. Yes. Like, oh, yeah, we're, we're, we got Aaron Rodgers. We're there. Like, you, you still got to perform. You see the thing now with the Bills too. Stefan Diggs is like. What is going on with that? 
He just know, wants so a new people contract? People were saying he was there. No, I don't think it's a contract thing. He was saying he was there, and then he's the coach said like he's worried about him I know, or like something what? like that. Is he so more head shit? The, no, they're, they're saying that he's just not happy with the direction of the team. What? That's what. That's the things that have come out. Oh, yeah, so let's not go to minicamp. That'll really help. No, them. he's there, though. Is he practicing? Probably not. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're not happy with the direction. Oh, let me uh, create more drama and not practice. But it's isn't it weird when your coach comes out and says, I'm very concerned? <laughs> At first, I thought there was a, like a problem. Like he was. Well, remember, he walked off the field their last game, you know, when they lost the playoffs. He like left. <laughs> Seems uh, that might be. Um... Might be trouble. It's like, a, you know, anything that's a team as a family, there's a problem in the family. There's a little argument. How many family? I know families that don't even speak to their siblings. Yeah. They hate each other. Yeah. Tears the whole family apart. They could do that. This That's a football team. Like if one guy doesn't like another guy, yeah. they used to be good friends. Look at who was the receiver for the Seahawks? And Russell Wilson. Oh. Wasn't uh, there a thing there? TJ like, Lockett. Wasn't there like a... Or not Lockett. It was the other one. Wasn't there like yeah, a... Yeah, it was a riff there. I think there still because is. Of, because of a wife, I do believe. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> wow. But would, if Stefan Diggs isn't there ass. for the... If Stefan Diggs isn't there for the Bills, they could finish in last place. Hey, they might. I mean, I mean they could. Great. They lost a bunch of pieces on... They lost some pieces on defense. I mean, Diggs is the. I mean, he is. He's one of the best receivers in the NFL. He might be the best. He's pretty I mean, good. I mean, if you look at their record before Diggs and after Diggs, it's a huge difference. Well, and then here's Josh Allen. That's like your your crutch. That's yeah. your, that's yeah. your go to. I need a play. That's spark. That's like taking the Rob Gronkowski or Julian Edelman off those Super Bowl teams. More. Like, were they going to be, would he be the same? Would they be the same? The teams? Well, I think one year we didn't have Gronk and it cost yeah. us. It was like AFC. That's what I mean. He lost. That's what I mean, though. Like, it changes yeah, everything. It changes everything. That. But that, isn't that every single year there's an injury or something that happens along yep. the way that completely changes the direction of the team? Yeah. So that's why that's why the Patriots need to pounce right now on D Hop. But what are they going to pay him? I think fifteen million is too much a year. Fifteen million dollars. Greg Hill asked me that. What would you pay him? Fifteen. I was like fifteen. I'd pay him fifteen over Odell Beckham Jr. I I, I would too, but they overpaid Odell. The Ravens yeah, actually, but that messes up the market though when somebody goes and overpays. That's what somebody. I'm saying. So you might they go and pay a veteran receiver who hasn't played. You might in a year. have to. D Hop though. Let's say. I mean, he has had back to back years of suspension, so he only played what? Yeah. Six games last year or seven or eight? Like, Something like that. He, so he didn't play much last year. But he still, like, if you take his, when he did play, he, like, led the NFL in receiving. With, who were his quarterbacks? Because Kyler Murray was out pretty quick last year. Yeah, that guy, way, I, I don't way, think, I don't, why would you pay that guy? I don't know how much, I don't know how much D-Hop actually played with Kyler Murray. But my, my question is, what are the what's the salary cap looking like? And then here's another thing that I that's an un I think a lot of people don't look at this. You're a receiver, and I know somebody might say, who gives a shit? Like who cares? But say you're a receiver in the building. You've been there a couple of years. You're working hard. You got a you're working for a contract or you got a contract. You might feel a little undervalued, but and who? then they sign D Hop. For a ton of money, who hasn't played much who, football? Though? Who in the building? No, I guess the guy that I guess the guy that would be that guy left. Um, oh, went to the Myers. Raiders. Yeah, Myers. yeah, that's what I mean. There is yeah. nobody. You know, so they're in a perfect spot for that. I understand what you're saying. Like, say you had Julian Edelman on his second contract, where he's not making that much money, then you bring D Hop in and pay him all the money. Well, that's yeah, how, Julian that Edelman happened. Get pissed. That happened. They paid, but Ocho Cinco. A ton, of, like good money like for a one, one year. year. Deal. Like but they yeah. cut him though. Seven million bucks they gave him. But they didn't give him all that though. Yes, they did. I don't think so. You know how much they gave Antonio Brown? It was it was like three million bucks. No, million bucks. like nine. No, that was the contract. He didn't get all that. Yes, he got every dollar so. of it. I don't think so. Um, dude, oh. 
I'm telling you. They but, were forced to because they they. So you wouldn't sign D Hop to like a two year, twenty eight million dollar deal. I would sign him to a one year deal. Prove it, like. Yeah, but you'd have to do one year, fifteen million. Yeah, I know. Plus incentives, I'd be okay with that. Well, what about like one year, fifteen, nine million guaranteed? Yeah, What's wrong yeah, with that? Vegas, you could do that. Like that's what I would do. Yeah. Brown. You could even do like one year seventeen with nine or ten million. Guaranteed. I wonder if Kraft, like, because you know Kraft. Hold on, let's see. Antonio Brown gets five million settlement from the Patriots. Yeah. Plus a two point five. They paid him seven point five five. Yeah. Right. But there was a legal settlement involved in there. New England had owed Brown nine million dollars. He received five as part of the settlement. That's ridiculous. For one week of work. Freaking bullshit. <laughs> that just makes me... That boggles my mind. Well, I didn't know he would, he would do that. They off the field stuff. All right. What did they... <laughs> that's crazy. It's funny that that's the... What about the? How about the Golden Knights? Yeah, hockey team. Yeah, making the Bruins look terrible. The old head coach there, huh? Bruce Cassidy. He's pretty stern. I don't know. Sometimes that stern coach will work. Yeah, it was that wasn't a? Uh, it wasn't a smart move. But it move. it's tough. No, but it's tough though because if a lot of the players wouldn't have played, what would the team have been? Because they weren't going to play for him. So it's it, that's a tough thing. Oh yeah. Um so I would give him 9 9 million. And then what? 1 year 15 9 yeah, million guaranteed. Yeah, 9 and then incentives based on I get I playing time. But whatever, he's, he all, he's the also going to shop whatever the market. It takes though. It's whatever it takes to sign him because Mm-mm. if your defense is going to be as good as what people think it's going to be, if you add a piece offensively like that, that could put you over the top and win the division. I wonder if they so when I went to Purdue for my visit, they completely fool you on what you are going to experience and what you're going to have available to you. So when I went when I went for my visit, they had like this game room with a PlayStation set up, and it was like the the whole screen the whole wall was like a screen of just televisions. It was awesome. The guys playing. PlayStation. Then they had like a pool room with like ping pong table, pool table, uh, freaking every like ski ball, every like just like an arcade room, right? You're like, man, this is pretty cool. Then they give you like they show you the study room. It's like all computers. You got your own spot. Freaking badass. Sign, you report, you walk into that room, empty. <laughs> <laughs> All gone. <laughs> Nothing there. <laughs> the TV that had the Xbox, locked. Like, you can't even get into it. <laughs> so, all we, like, there was a big area, like a player's area lounge with couches. You would just sit in there in the dark, like, in training camp and, like, have your, just sit there, like, <sighs> what the hell did I do? What the hell? And study. Because pretty is, like, alibi. Alibi. <laughs> That'll go well for you. <laughs> Dude, that got the me. Purdue I education. Can't believe it. I was like, Alibi. There's a couple words. Uh, what, my, I was reading my kids' book the other day. There was a word <laughs> that got. I was looking at it, and I'm like, What, what does that look like? It doesn't look right. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Is it like house? <laughs> no, it started with an X. I can't remember what it was. Couch. C O are you going to the mall today? <laughs> uh, cheese. C E C H E E S E. Cheese. Any more brain busters? What a great movie. I was going to be doing cursive. Cheese. Yeah. Was it? No, he was writing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In cursive, but then Z. Then she did something Z. with like with a Z. It was a uh, risotto. 
<laughs> that he's like, making fun of him. Would you like me to try the word buzz? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, a good movie. They don't make movies like that anymore. No, there's it's too. Uh, it's too bad. Yeah. So what do you think about the whole baby Gronk stuff that's going on? <laughs> oh boy. I, we well, should start doing this when we get to stuff like this. I gotta watch. What we should I have say. TJ dim the lights and just put a spotlight on. I you. gotta watch what I say. <laughs> I, okay, I think this is this is a problem in our modern world of cell phones and marketing and parents marketing their children to make money. Like, yeah, what the hell is that kid on YouTube? Ryan's World. Ryan's parents, toys. You, yeah. Parents were arrested for shoplifting, and now they're gazillionaires and make thirty six million a year. Open the a, damn toys. Living in a penthouse. Mom, I don't want to open toys you know, today. <laughs> you will open your toys, or you will not eat. <laughs> and I will chain you to the bed, and you will not have any water. Open your toys and smile <laughs> now. But so this kid, there's no guarantee he's gonna be. I mean, little okay, little grunk. Yeah, no. Put Just, pads. I, this is the problem. He's going to grow up, right? He's going to have this whole persona, and he's putting on this show or this persona, and he thinks in his head, I'm like a Hall of Fame yeah. player, like Rob Gronkowski. I'm going to be Rob Gronkowski. I'm yeah. going to be the man. He might be 5'8". That's what I mean. Yeah. He might be 5'9". Yeah. Gronk is 6'5". <laughs> like, 270 pounds of pure man. Like, this dude, this kid, he might... He might put the pads on in high school, and just dudes are just lighting him up. Yeah, he runs like a and five, then five, and then 40. just killing him. Oh, what's up, Gronk? What up, Gronk? That's that's the thing. I like. I it's see gonna it. just completely kill him. Like shut him down. Yeah. Like his ego, his heart, everything. Like so. Here's my thing. I understand your son is good. We all think our kids are good. We all think our kids are really good. When my kid plays flag. I'm like, all right, Ev, looking good, dude. <laughs> Making people miss. Now, there's no chance that I think in my heart of hearts he's anything comparable to anything in the NFL. So I I posted on, on my phone. I can't remember what platform or what show. I think it was Bustin' with the Boys. We're talking about Gronk. Like, they, they mentioned his name, and the dad reached out to him. Yeah. Like, kind of like, hey, you're saying my, like, what is he? have the copyright of the, like we might get a letter cease and assist you owe us money for talking about it but what about when he plays at the next level and some kid just flamingos him takes his knee out or just you know baptizes him it's it's gonna happen so i i, I it's just the world we live in now I, I honestly think it goes back to what i said a couple episodes about our cell phones look at you right now look in your cell phone it's uh, it's it's literally. I'm looking up the busting of the boys thing. I know, <laughs> but it's it's bad. Our culture, our society. You got people on motorcycles just getting freaking hurt left and right, killed because people are texting, looking at their phones, looking at their freaking scrolling through their Instagram streams, and just busting lefts. Just whoa! I didn't see him. Yeah, no shit. You're looking at your phone. You do it all the time. There's a kid that gets off his you're bus. Taking, you're taking pictures of freaking propane trucks. I took trucks. a picture of propane tanks. Yeah. What are, yeah. Whoa. I, no. <laughs> I'm on the interstate. There's no left turns. When you're when you're cruising on the interstate, there's no there's no excuse here. You shouldn't look at your phone. I was driving and I thought of Final Destination as I saw a semi truck full of propane. Okay. <laughs> Just waiting for one to shoot. Just one to bounce out, hit me in the windshield, light my car on fire gas up the inside of my car with the you know what i thought i was thinking as i was driving just driving zzz, bounce you know truck swerves for like a rabbit or something deer hits the deer something tanks come out one bounces flips hits in the windshield sticks turns the hose on fills up the inside of the car <laughs> bing explodes god damn it be a hell of a <laughs> fucking way to go wouldn't it yeah no on the bus with the boys what happened was he the dad messaged them and said, like, hey, can he come on the show? And they're like, no, nah, we're just not going to do that. And then the dad said, well, look, he's trending on, like, Twitter right now. 
and went into that he was trying to do everything for him. All this is for the kid, you know, mm. that he's going to make a million dollars by the time he's like 12 or whatever, you know, whatever it is. And yeah. And I'm sure he's you're going to drive a nice car. Yeah. You know, I'm sure the dad's going to be in a freaking Corvette freaking like, hey, look at my new whip. Well, oh, he's not that old, right? No, he's pretty old. Is he? He's about 35. That's w- way too young for a Corvette, though. It's not true. <laughs> drove mine today. <laughs> Anyway, your Skechers golf shoes. I those are very comfortable. By the way. amount of comments I got for the Skechers softball golf shoes was uh, oh wow, was very staggering. <laughs> <laughs> and don't knock it until you try it, okay? <laughs> Skechers, it's the S. Um, very nice. So as uh, Jeff Howe just tweeted out that that the Patriots feel that they can get a deal done with DeAndre Hopkins. That's pretty good. Really I good. like it. And that he doesn't have any any problem with Billy O. No, I, I, I've said that. I when I said what I said on ESPN about D Hop to the Patriots, and somebody brought up, well, what about Billy O? I don't I I don't think that that's not an issue because think about any point in your life when you're in your twenties and you have an issue with somebody and you're in your thirties, you look back on it, you squash it. It's like, yo. Sorry about the hard feelings. I know you were doing your job. I was doing mine. I was trying to make the most of, of my opportunity. You were trying to make the most of what I had. Let's squash this thing. Let's do something special. That's what I think they could do. They could put the shit in the past behind them, move forward. And then Billy O knows exactly, exactly how to use D-Hop. Yeah. Like, this is where he's great. This is where I'm going to use him. I'm not going to have you run in you know, a thousand routes. I'm not going to be, a, you're not going to be a decoy. When you, we need you, you're going to be in the game. When it's a go-to moment, you're going to be in the game. When we got to have it, you're in the game. So for me, this is a, that's a, that would be a great signing. Now, the only thing that could affect that, they got to up maybe the the bonus a little bit for the, uh, the millionaire tax. Because <laughs> if he's looking at Nashville versus... The the Titans versus the Patriots. It's temp- it's going to be like it's 10%. a lot more percentage. It's yeah. about what ten percent, I think ten percent. Yeah, and that's a lot. Well, I, I just think it's ridiculous that the people that are like you know, well, he doesn't really get along with Billy O. He doesn't practice a lot. He doesn't do this. Doesn't do that. Well, why would the Patriots bring him in then, and why would he agree to come here? <laughs> like, isn't it known that the Patriots practice a ton? Isn't it known that Billy O is the offensive coordinator that's going to be running the show there? Like. All the media reports are just a bunch of bullshit. It's just people speculating and just trying to get clicks and all yeah, it's that. It's like us. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, I, I, I have a feeling he's going to sign by tomorrow. He'll so, the Patriots. what do they, what do you think's in his um, schedule for the visit? What do you think you do? do you what think are they the canceled OTAs what are today? The, uh, do a team field trip to go pick him up at the airport? Do, you, do they, do you invite him to the paintballing? Oh, yeah, I think so. Do you have him just come and paintball? Yeah. yeah. Get to know the guys, hang out with them, have fun. I mean, see, Bill's fun. Yeah, Bill's fun. Thing. Look at him. Yeah, look, we don't, we're not practicing. We're, we're paintballing. We're chilling. Yeah, we're not hitting. Yeah, we're not, not running look, routes. We're not conditioning. We're not squatting. You think, you think they 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 loaded everybody on the bus and went to Logan and they're going to pick them up and go paintballing? <laughs> no, they probably. <laughs> it's like a team I would field do, trip. <laughs> you you'd have to have like um, you get Rob Nikovich driving the bus and then this is what somebody this, throws this their peanut butter and jelly sandwich what you with the driver. Do. This is what you would do. <laughs> If I was hosting D-Hop, this is what I would do. I would pick him up from the airport, bring him to the like the paintballing, have him do the paintballing. After the paintballing, bring him to the facility. It's actually a nice day. It's not like doom and gloom, gray yeah. rain, which is gross. Bring him to the stadium, show him the stadium, have a locker all set up. Like this is your they're going to be right here next to Mac. <laughs> next to Mac. Why he hates you. Is it right here. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> A fucking noogie. You know what a noogie? Remember the old school noogie? If he was like somebody scary, like, I don't know, Trent Brown, I'd probably be like, I love you, bro. Sorry. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be offensive to him. I'm just trying to motivate him. So D-Hop, bring him here, show him the stadium, show him the renovations, show him the screen, put like a big highlight up of him on the screen. See, this is going to be you on the screen. Um, they don't have the They don't have the skydiving thing going yet. Dang it. They got, the, you know, they're they're gonna have uh, indoor skydiving. Oh yeah, that's up what that in, that's up in. That's right next to place. it. Yeah. yeah, 
take him around Patriot Place, you know, have him a nice room, put him a few, you know, show him like this is where you're going to be. Take him to a Red Sox game tonight, right? Right next to Ninko. No, you don't have to be with me. I'd put him in the owner's box. I don't think anybody wants to go with John Henry. No, no, no. Box, you just put him in a box by himself. Oh, but yeah. like the, this is the owner's box. You tell the owner like, hey, get out of here. Well, you have like Mac Jones bring him to the. Some, the yeah, game. something like that. Yeah. You show him, you know, Red Sox, you know, walk him around, Yawkey. Get him a, you know, get him, give him the whole treatment. Get a nice sausage. During, got to get him a, got it. Sausage and a 617. Got to get him a sausage guy. Got to get him a sausage guy. And a 617. 617. And then during the game, right, Sweet Caroline, you put him on the, you put him on the Jumbotron, put him up there. Throw the first pitch out. (laughs) People go nuts. Like, (laughs) oh, yeah, it'd be like, oh, it'd be insane. Speculation would be crazy. It'd be insane. (laughs) Show him the baseball, walk him around the city a little bit. Got to take him to the north end. Got to get him a cannoli. You know, go to Modern Pastry. Show them everything. That's what I would do. Then I don't know the second day, though, because that'd be a pretty great first day. Second day. Hope you just lock him in a room <laughs> until he signs. You're not leaving. <laughs> you're not leaving. Yeah, you're just signing this contract, bud. Oh, get him in a helicopter. Tour the city. Second day. No. Second day. Helicopter from the city in Crafts Helicopter. Bring him to Robert's house. To Robert's house in the Cape. Right? <laughs> Show him the Cape. Say, look at all this. You could have a nice place here. Yeah. You don't know, mind he, the, you know don't Hopkins mind the tax. is a big car guy. Is he a car guy? Big car guy. He's got a big collection of cars. Does he have a big collection? Yeah. Did you bring him to your house? I mean, yeah, they should have just they should have bought a car. Like and give it to him as part of the deal. You gonna do a deal with him if he signs? You get him a car? Probably not. A Lambo? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Dude, you know who I didn't know got hurt and I was upset about it? The f- new number fifty, who we traded yeah, for, Raquan McMillan. McMillan they had him last year. They didn't trade for. I don't no, think they, they traded, traded for him agent. last year. They traded agent. the old fifty for him. No, isn't he from? No, they got Mac Wilson Senior for for your from predecessor. the Browns. Yeah, Raquan McMillan came from the Dolphins. He's a free agent. They signed. Him oh, did he? last year? I didn't know that. Yeah, he got. Or maybe it was two years ago now. You know, he tore his. He ACL. got hurt once. He played last year. Uh, towards and then towards Achilles. Ugh. The thing is, um, bad one. He he's like a freak linebacker, like just freak no, athlete and everything. Very, he's really he good. Can cover. He just, he I think just that's can't a that's a big loss. That's big big loss because he's a good special teams ace, and then he can also play on third down cover. That's the thing. Cover. I, th- cover I think they they needed a lot from him this cover year. Backer. Damn it. Yeah. That one sucks. That one hurt. Yeah, because they almost signed a Landon Roberts this offseason to bring him back, to bring E Rob back, but he ended up going to Pittsburgh. E Rob, I like E Rob, but he pissed me off a few what? times. Why? Uh, let's see. How about what if you played with somebody all year, like all year, and you're a veteran, and it's like during a play. And you're trying to get the play corrected, and he just absolutely brain farts and doesn't know any. I don't. Maybe he got a concussion. I don't know. <laughs> but he didn't know my name. He didn't know anything. I was like, "You Rob." He was like, "Uh, uh." I said, "What are we doing?" What the f-? I got angry. I got I got mad because I was like, "Yo, we need to. We got to get our shit. Like, we got to be on it." Alibi. And he was like, "Uh." Uh, I, I don't know, maybe I don't know. Maybe he got hit in the head. He hit his head a lot. He led with his head a lot. He used to just come in like a torpedo. And then when we went to um, we went to play the Super Bowl, um, we went and practiced at the University of Houston, and that's where he went to school. And the equipment guys were in the equipment room because we were in the locker room, and they had like two sets of helmets: a, a game helmet and a practice helmet. Dude, when I tell you that their practice helmets were scarred, like, unbelievably, like, I've never seen helmets beat up like this. And they they had this big, like, heavy set guy in there. He's like, yeah, man, we we like to smack them down here. And I was like, Jesus, <laughs> you guys hit a lot, huh? Like, the helmets were destroyed. And I was like, damn, all righty, Rob. Lead with the head. King. Hi. Boom. Alibi. Alibi, <laughs> hi Alibi, <laughs> Alibi. Oh God, 
<laughs> alibi. That's happened to me before a lot in my life. Mispronouncing words. How come you weren't at the, the, the I'm dyslexic? Uh, how come you weren't at uh, Robert's 50th anniversary for his paper company party? His thing. his his the his, the paper company. His wife's family's paper company. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a good one. Uh, I wasn't invited. Well, I'm not. I'm not in the. I'm not in that. Like we paid you a hundred million dollar club. All the people that were there got a lot. Brady of Moss was there. Brady, who? Brady wasn't there. No, Moss. Brady Moss. Oh, how much do you think they paid Moss? Like five bucks. They didn't pay him a ton. They paid him more than me. I don't think so. Yeah. Randy Moss, what do you make of the Patriots? But He's you, also a Hall of Famer. But I'm you're getting I'm you're like getting the shout outs from Bill Belichick. I'm like a garbage man compared to Randy Moss. Three or twenty seven. No million. offense to garbage man. I, I, Three or twenty seven million. We need you guys. Moss. We need everybody. Well, how much? Three or twenty seven million. Oh, Oh, twenty seven. Yeah, it's not bad. Fifteen Pretty million guaranteed. I played here nine. <laughs> made that <laughs> so there you go well but did he didn't get the shout out like from uh bill belichick, bill belichick. yeah how many how many go shout out how many people did you send that to oh only monsters for tonight going to the game tonight hi i only have monsters for tonight sending them over shortly oh wow thank you <laughs> um that happens from time to time, you know, the old Bill Belichick. Goes, yeah, but, but how but many people the, did you send that video out to? Here's the thing. <laughs> Come on, answer the question. Nobody. How many? nobody. No, stop. I it nobody. Stop. I sent it to Dev. <laughs> no, you didn't. You sent it to did. a ton of people. Dev, see? Actually, Dev sent me something on that. But listen to this. I signed here in 2009. 2009. It's a long-ass time ago. Yeah. Like, he had to go back to 2009, like thinking in his head who they signed after or dur- not during off season. Dev Dev told me that that you might make me call you uh, Bill's favorite for the podcast. I'm not Bill's favorite. Maybe I am because I didn't make any money and <laughs> I had a lot of production. You know what's the worst when old coaches text you with a clip and they say. So I got Pat Graham, my buddy Pat, who's my position coach. Now he's the DC for the for the uh, Raiders, Vegas. Um, what the hell did he sent me the other day? He sent me. He sent me a text message. I love it when coaches, old coaches, send me a message and they're like, "Dude, you're really good." It's like, oh, thanks. Like I appreciate that screenshot. Send off to here. It's like, let's see. Staff didn't go. Something like that. Here, watching some old tape. Damn, you were fucking good. Like, thanks. So, yeah, I was really fucking good. <laughs> That's what I said back. Although, I can't say what I said after. I can't say. That's between me and him. But I'll show you. Look at the second line. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Who is I talking to? Oh, anyway. We are getting a lot of comments and emails and messages in about this throw off thing. Everybody wants to see you th- you Dude, attempt to throw 62. I was yards. playing softball last night. It was Skechers? No, I actually bought a pair of uh, baseball cleats. <laughs> so I bought I bought some Nikes last night. Actually, I went to Dick's. I got these shorts, too. You actually got to come up and play for our team at shorts. some point. I got these sandals, too. I feel like um, I feel holy in these. You got to come back and you got to come up and play for our team at some point. Yeah. Freaking when? When's the next game? I think like the 27th or something. We have a break right now. I won't be back by the 27th. I'll be back the second. I'm going to go see... We're gonna have a little couple week here, unless we do a um, Zoom. Because I got to I'm gonna go see my mom and dad. Everett, my son took off last night with my mom, and I was like, Ugh. he went on the airplane. First time he ever like, like my mom was like, oh, I'll take him with me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then like walking into the airport, I'm like, all right, let's let's see you later. It's like, it's tough, it's tough stuff. 
Let's see this play. So it'd be it would be July 9th, Sunday, July 9th. I'll be back by July 9th. Yeah. I'll show you the Nico power. Um so yeah, I got a pair of I got a pair of uh cleats last night. Yeah. I went to Dick's. Got a couple of How things. many errors did you make? No, I didn't make any errors. I was uh three for three. A couple of nice catches. I got my old glove back, so it was it was good. Nice and floppy. High yeah. school glove. Yeah. You throw anybody out? No, but back to the throwing competition, somebody hit a home run, like a bomb. And uh, I went and it was the cutoff guy, and I was probably like, I don't know, 300 yards out. It's freaking... 300 yards? Just all the way to the home plate. That's 900 feet. It's fucking... Yeah. <laughs> on a rope. Just... just where, were you, where were you guys playing? You, 300 yards is what you just said. Yeah, about 300 out. I threw it all no, the way in. But baseball fields are back 300 feet. What? 300 feet. <laughs> 300 yards or 300 feet. I'm sorry. I'm thinking football in my head. 300 feet. 300 foot. Alabibi. 300 foot. 300. I'm thinking, I'm in yeah. my football brain. 300 feet. Sorry. Well, that's like to the, the fence. The fence though. was 300. So you're probably like 150 feet if you're the cutoff. No, there was no fence. We have no fence. There's no fence. We just play on like, it's like when you're a kid and you no. just play on a field that has no fence. There's no like hit it over the fence. No. Just hit it far. So what position are you playing? You playing infield? Center. Then how were you the cut? Because it was that far. Oh. <laughs> Somebody hit a dinger. If you here's the thing with our fields, we play on a field that looks at another field, yeah. which is in, if you hit the baseball field on the other field, that ball's like rolling nah. forever. So it hits that other field, and it's just like gone. So like nah. you're probably five hundred feet. So you play outfield. I play outfield. So if you when you come play on a team that there will be no errors, you'll make every play hit yeah, towards outfield? you. Yeah, outfield. Yeah, I don't drop a ball. TJ is going to record the whole thing. Record it. You what do you think? Mic, I, we should. I played you eleven up. years in we the NFL. Mic you up too. I would. This is. I'll put it out there too. I'll be the fastest, most powerful, most athletic guy on the field. We have a fence, so and I'll put it over the fence. It's like three thirty. I'll put it over that. You guys metal bat or you wood bat? Metal, we but wood. Yeah, but it's, I'm wood. If I use metal, bats. if I if I use metal or whatever bat we use, they're deadly. They're dead bats. Like they're, dead. It's better than wood. Yeah. If I use a metal bat, I'm I might kill someone. Okay. Just tell you. That's what you're saying. Yeah. The okay. pitcher is gonna be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you hit it back at the pitcher. If they if they if he's an asshole, <laughs> put it right at him. Take his shins out. Are you gonna wear the Skechers? I might. I might do it. Just just sketch it up? Just for comfort. <laughs> Built for comfort. That's All what right. I am. So July 9th, you're going to play in that game? Yeah, I'll play in that one. I think July 10th, I have like a... I'm going to go on like a bike. Like You know how they put the stuff on you to like read your heart stuff? I think no. It's, see, where, see where I'm at athletically. <laughs> Fading away. I thought you were like in peak physical condition. It's like condition. Uh, Tiger Woods when he got arrested. They asked him his hair color. He said, like, brown and fading or something like that. <laughs> brown and thinning. Jeez. Talk about golf. Oh, we talked about that. Yeah. It's freaking nuts. Kill him. Did you see the, uh, this is another, another thing that I saw other people talking about. The celebration. I think Pat McAfee had this on his show. It was at, was at the Canada Open or something. Whoever won, did you see that? I had the guy got the like guy, tackled. Yeah, like the security, he was like yeah, spraying like a bottle. Of golfers. Yeah, and he got tackled. Yeah, got crushed. I I put the, I put this out there on Pat's show. I've always wondered, like, if I jump down on the field for a game, Pat's game. Yeah, they're gonna take you up. I know how many could I make miss before I get tired or get tackled. So why you do it? Wouldn't that be a good game show? Yeah, ex ex football players or ex athletes to see who could take you out. Going up against security guards. Yeah. Why don't you try it? Could you make a miss in the open field? And then you add a security guard. So, like, if it's one-on-one, miss. Two-on-one, miss. Three-on-one, hogtied. <laughs> <laughs> so Wouldn't that be it? an awesome show? It'd be... They well, there's a, on Netflix, they're coming out with, Amer- like, a American Gladiators. Remember yeah, they're the, redoing the, it. They're doing... Um, not, not, I, don't, I think it's just a documentary. Oh, I thought they were redoing the I don't know Gladiator if they're redoing show. I think they're just doing a documentary oh, on yeah. the Gladiators. I used to watch that show all the time. I loved it. it was awesome. But do you, do you, like, do you remember some of the 
the the things where the they were trying to get the balls yeah. inside the uh, inside the, the it's, it was like football basketball basically because yeah. you were in this area you went and got a ball had to put it in and they were trying to tackle you yeah I think I think they could do that again yeah did they ever redo that I thought they did once I thought they redid the American Gladiators really? I like the 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 cool one with the tennis ball launcher thing oh yeah that was the the gauntlet or something at the end yeah that was yeah like you would have to yeah, shoot, shoot the thing, the thing at the, the target. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It was awesome. They had the football one though too that you had to you had to score the touchdown. Yes, with like one intense. on two. Yeah. Would you like to be the gladiator in that? No, I don't think I would. Those Why? guys are probably all dead. Oh yeah, yeah guaranteed. They were all on no, steroids. steroids. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, they said there was one which I didn't remember this because I was watching. There was a thirty for thirty on it, which I did watch recently. And do you remember the the obstacle course that was upside down? Yeah. Like they would hang from it yep. and run. Yeah. And I guess it like disoriented you. So you would throw up and people were all sick afterwards. <laughs> or the Q tips. Yeah. Just getting killed the, with the Q tips. Yeah, Q-tips. the jousting things. Then they had the hang thing too, the monkey bar. Th- like the. I, think, I thought that was in the at the end where you had to go up the ramp, push the ball, do the bike hand bike no there was an event that you oh the rings yeah and then the, that you somebody had to get else would come them. yeah they didn't try to take and they you would down. come get you and <laughs> jump on you yeah that was pretty cool <laughs> that's a cool one too <laughs> or the metal balls remember the metal yeah. balls yeah. do they have to if they have ninja warrior now with all that there's gotta be, be better american gladiators better than that 100 percent. and then you could make it even better because of technology you would think back then i think you use the old stuff it'd be better yeah I mean, what was the? Remember when we were kids on Nickelodeon? It was like a mountain. Remember there was the show, and, and they would like aggro crack. Oh, it was at the, the. It was like literally the. It was at the aggro. I can't think of the name of it. At the end of it, they had to go up a mountain, like up this thing. It was an obstacle course. Yeah. See, a reboot of the Gladiators has been officially confirmed to air in 2023. Really? Yeah. It's in, uh, oh, it's in England, British. Oh, the it's BBC. in England. I'll watch that, though. Still. What is that on, though? The BBC, British Broadcasting Network. That's what BBC is? Yeah. I didn't know. Anyway, um, what is the... Uh, what, for you, what would you say is like anything comparable to that now? What? Like American to that Gladiators? show? Yeah, like Ninja Warrior. Ninja Warrior, maybe, something like that. You re- you remember what I'm talking about? It wasn't. It was on. It was like a kids show, and they did similar things to to what like the gladiators did, but it was smaller. It was they would go up. Like they had rocks that would come down, and you had to like make the make a miss. A kids show like when we were kids. When I was a kid, you were a kid. I can't remember. Said, oh, I don't. You guts guts. Yeah, like That's what it was. Yeah. Guts guts. That's what it was. Guts. That was, was on Nickelodeon. Nick. Yeah. Guts. They would slime you too at the end or something like that, right? Yeah. At the end, you'd get, yeah. you'd get slimed. Well, yeah. There's nothing else really like that stuff now. Um, I was going to say something about the... Uh, oh, going back to Baby Grunk. So this is the one thing that I would say. I had a, I had a friend in high school who was a very good athlete, really fast, good receiver, great football player played since he was peewee freshman year he breaks his arm in football has a cast on i we go to practice his dad has him running sprints doing drills like jumping over bags running routes like and he just broke his arm so it was like fresh fast forward senior year of high school He's like all state, very good player, really good. He goes off to college, wants nothing to do with football. Yeah. Like There's absolutely a lot of that toasted from it. The pressure, the the dad, like the to be good just was too much. Yeah. And then completely went away from it. So I feel like there's also a sense if you are too over the top with it as a parent, yeah. Your kid's gonna go it. the other way. Yeah. So you have to be smart. Yeah. Not be too aggressive. My parents, honestly, I played high school football. That was like I didn't play much before that. I played one year. I was a fat kid. Like when I went to high school, I did no camps. I did nothing. I 
But I did absolutely nothing. Like now kids are doing all these speed camps, running camps, seven on seven camps, football camps, running, uh, uh, training camp, like uh, lifting, train, like specifically training. You're going to burn them out. Yeah. You're just going to burn them out. And they're not going to want to do it. Or they're going to be at a point when they're older that they resent kind of like they didn't have a childhood. So let your kids have fun. Yeah. That's it. Sports are supposed to be fun up until professional. They're going to want to do it. Remember, that's a business. You don't remember the little Hercules kid, the bodybuilder? Yes. Yes. His dad like made him lift. Yeah. And he doesn't. Well, that's like even Tiger. I mean, if you watch Tiger's documentary, his dad would put him in a high chair and feed him while he was hitting golf balls. Yeah. Like, here, eat this and watch me. Yeah, but the same thing with like Venus and Serena Williams. You ever watched that movie? They made a lot of money, but. You ever watched the movie? I have no idea. King Richard? It's actually pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think think that they have any resentment towards their their dad or. I don't know. I didn't see it. So, how did the ending go? Like, it's 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 a documentary. They made it. Yeah, it's just. So, you would think, this is my thing. How many kids have that? But don't make it. That's the thing. That's the, that's the, the thing. The, yeah. the thing with it is, you can see obviously the ones that made it. But what are the ones that didn't make it and just don't ever play the sport again? I would. Good. I would say that there's probably a lot. There's more talented people that never made it because be. they just got. They were just done with it. Decided to. I'm done. It's gotta be. Than actually people that made it. Yeah. No, it's gotta be. I mean, when I went to junior college, there's more athletic better athletes that just couldn't go to like couldn't pass their classes yeah there's a lot of that too or injuries or just there's so many different things i I can't remember i think was it maybe mike vick they asked him who like the most athletic person he knew is and he's like my cousin or something that never went to like never even went to school yeah or like, like, like you played with when so, you were younger. Yeah, like the best athlete I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It's just the way it is. Yeah. Anything can happen then. I don't know. Do you ever... Uh, I started lo- I started watching all the stuff about the pyramids. Have you ever looked at that before? Yeah. We're going into this. We're going into the pyramids right now? We're going to get this deep right now? Oh, I'm actually now I'm afraid that, like, of what you're going to start talking about with it. Okay. Oh, boy. The pyramids, so there's a couple ways to look at this. They are in the desert, right? Well, there's pyramids all over the world. I'm saying that we're, are yeah. we talking about the? The Great Pyramid. The Great Pyramid. Yeah. Could you potentially have used like the sand and built around and then, you know, got everything up and then built down and then dug out to like, raised like because you think about the stone how heavy all those blocks and like how each ev- block is 2.5 tons okay there's no mm. machinery but there's no heavy equipment yeah i know but how, how they the get hell them just from the hunt th- they were hundreds of miles away yeah, yes that's what i'm saying they went to. i don't and and they're built Dude, i don't know they're built at like a 0. 0.05 degree Dude, they're, they're off perfect. of north and it north changes all the time. So over the, you know, it, because of the way the poles go and all that. So it was probably dead on center. And how did they do it? So there's a couple, couple things you could look at. Was there ever a technology that we don't know about that was able to move those things? Was it from another place? Is it, you know, was it another place that had technology that was Aliens. able to build that, maybe. Yeah. And then they left. They went somewhere else. Have you seen all this stuff about aliens lately? Like the spacecraft yeah. and the stuff? That's the reason why I started looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. There was one the other day that like a, a UFO crashed in somebody's backyard. I, and the cops were, of like and they said they saw creature. like a, Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure about that stuff. But if you look at it, right? But also marijuana is heavily legalized now. So people might be high as hell. If... If they, if back then they were able to do 1.7 million tons, million pounds of stone laid every day for 20 years, they could get it done. That's crazy. (laughs) That's mind blowing. 
Yeah, but I don't think you could actually build it but today. But wasn't there a water? Was the, isn't there water close there's, to the pyramids? Well, there's people that say that they, they, they basically they, floated the stones yeah. there. But the two things with that, though, is first, how do you get the stones out of the quarry? Well, you would say, okay, so for example, all the the big water that comes from the north down when they would log yeah. all the big old timber some of that stuff there you know would sink or you would think that if they did that you would find a couple of those massive stone like at the bottom yeah right like i don't know it, it floated fell it broke apart yeah, it'd just be like hanging yeah, there. yeah. like and or they just there. yeah and they're like oh shit but then do you really expect that they even if they could get the stones there right how did they chisel it's them? Not well. And here's lay the thing: <laughs> there's no paved road. That's what I mean. You can't. You can't I don't think. Roll. I don't think it could be done now. You can't with roll. today's technology. You can't I don't think it could be done. Roll. Yeah, I think they could do it now. Though. I don't think so. Just think of how heavy that the, the each block is. That's and why the precision it, of it too. That's why it's got to be. Well, it can't. It can't. I mean, how? You explain to me how they move those. There's another blocks. theory: is that it was technology that. There's a theory that that civilization 10, 15, 10, 15,000 years ago was so advanced and a cataclysmic event happened and basically wiped us out to the but, Stone Age. But wouldn't we find evidence of that? Well, the thing like is, right now, think about it, though. Say here, right now, if there was a massive, say, an asteroid hit or something yeah. and everything was destroyed, yep. wouldn't you find cars, a city? Well, think about some of our technology, right? Wi-Fi. Would they be able to find that? They would see the top. Like, wouldn't you be able to find evidence of the tower or, you know, like where our servers are? There's massive buildings full of servers. Yeah, but what if, they, what if there was a cataclysmic event that melted it all down or put it into the ocean or, you know, anything? You would find it. Wouldn't we find it? I mean, we've only explored like 5% of the ocean. Ocean's wild, too. Yeah. But think of this. Like, have you ever seen the tribe uh, in the North Sentinel Islands Mm-mm. in India? Is a uh, there's a tribe that's not been contacted. That's it's on this island in North Sentinel Island in the Indian, Indian Ocean. Anybody anybody that tries to go there, the people there kill them. They they still use they don't know how to make fire. Still, they use you know bows and arrows. Like if a helicopter flies near them, they shoot like bow and arrow at them. No, you look it up. They, they that the the government has banned anybody from going there. But they don't have fire. They don't have any of that stuff. They just, they hunt with their, they don't know how to cook their food. They eat everything raw. So fish, any animals, anything like that, they eat raw. And they've been uncontacted now for, for, you know, they've been there for tens of thousands of years, they say. So what do those people think when they see the helicopter fly over? Or they see the boat that comes near them with somebody on there? Do they think that those people are aliens? Yeah, 100%. Like we cage, we we have zoos, right? Or we we go, we put, you know, gorillas out in the wild and monitor them, right? They have like tracking devices on them and all that stuff, and we monitor them. What if there's another culture or another civilization that's done that with us? I th- we need to have this conversation at a dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> But think about having edible. Think of a lot of the, the the wonders of the world. I've been to like Machu Picchu up in Peru. Yeah, that's built seven thousand feet above sea level, and they have stones that they built all these houses with that they got from quarries miles away down the mountains. And they and that you mean hundreds of years ago or thousands of years ago that that they managed to bring all these stones up there to build Machu Picchu up seven thousand feet. Carrying stones that are hundreds of pounds or thousands of pounds. Yeah, I don't know, man. You're, and you're the cool, the, the crazy thing with that is it's built in the summer solstice. They got the precision to be so perfect. There's like four temples around, right? So there's like a temple here, a temple here, a temple here, a temple here. And they did it where the center of it has this hole in there. So when the summer solstice happens, the only thing lit on the mountain is the four temples because the 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 light and, goes through it and, and lights no up the four temples. There's no that's what I mean. They didn't have anything. And and they're not shooting lasers to figure yeah, out. But we couldn't even do it now with lasers and all that. I don't think we could do it to that precision. That's pretty crazy. I always think about the Last Samurai. Remember that movie, Matt? Last Samurai. <laughs> Tom Cruise, the Last Samurai. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just telling you, you just you're like, yeah, with a sword, and then somebody's just like, <laughs> 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 Fuck. He's like running with a freaking horse, and the guy's like, <laughs> just like mowing them all down. They're all like, you know, black belt samurais. They've been practicing for years, and it's all like this, like, and a guy just, it's just some fat guy with a gun, just like, bang. The Gatling gun. You're dead. <laughs> I don't care how skilled you are. You know, it's like, it's technology, man. Yeah, but that's Isn't the- that tech. That's tech. Like, think about it. It's, if you, if, if you went back to the Civil War when they're lining up and they're like, ready, aim, and yeah. you're just like back to the future to machine gun, they're like, <laughs> one guy, Rambo, is killing everybody. Yeah. Just like, ah. yeah, the Revolutionary War, ready, Hit, aim. aim. You guys Fire. can't shoot right now. Get We're the shooting. Musket. <laughs> they're like, and then there's just one guy like, Whoop. all right, but, war's what? over. I won. That's how the Americans won the Revolutionary War, though, is because what, when the British would like have like rules of engagement, yes. that they would do that. They would just walk up and They'd shoot be like, them. well, what we'll do here is all line up. Get your guns ready. Aim. And, and so he's coming from fire. behind them, hatching in the middle. They're hiding. They're hiding. Oh, we're dying. Oh, shit. They're hiding and we're dying. <laughs> shit, retreat. And then everyone else is like, why, what, why would I line up and let you shoot me? Why are we lining up like this? Let's all hide and do trench warfare. Exactly. Jeez. But back to the pyramids. Last that, Samurai, great movie, though. The pyramids have over 13 billion pounds of stone. Wow. Dude, that's mind-blowing. I need to go there. It'd be a cool place to go. But even in some of them, like like the chambers, like like the king's chambers, stuff like that, there's even crazier stone inside of there, like up in the, the ceilings and the walls and all that. I don't think we've explored... Or the Egyptians have explored even fifty percent of the pyramids. Like they're Dude, still finding wild. stuff all the time. The pyramids are wild. It's wild. The, the sphinx, wild thing to me the is sphinx, like, yeah. I mean, it's freaking crazy, dude. Well, their all their drawings and hieroglyphics and all that are crazy to me. Like you know where they have like their stuff of like what does it say the date space. of the pyramids? I they, think they say it's like four to five thousand years old. Or but there's people that say they're 10, 15,000 years old. They don't actually know. The other thing, too, is they, they're they different now, but when they were done, they put, they're, like, limestone on them, so they smooth, were, like, right? smooth. And they yeah. were, like, almost shiny. But have you ever seen the Nazca lines in Peru? Dude, that, that's... You ever seen that? No. It's out in the desert in Peru. There's all these drawings that are thousands of years old, too, that they drew into the sand there. Um, that are mostly only visible from, like, airplane. And there's, like, a monkey. There's, like, a spider. There's all these different things. But, like, the thing is, why would they do that? Ancient, the ancient masonry structures are, I just want to see. Okay, so what is this? But there's not many rooms inside of them, right? No, there's a lot of chambers inside of them. The earliest known Egyptian pyramid are found northwest of Memphis. Although the one-step pyramid-like structure has been found dating the first dynasty, 3808. Jeez. But 2630 to 2610 before Christ. Yeah, so... Like, what? But the thing, too, is, like... <sighs> How do all these civilizations that supposedly had no contact with each other, right? Like the Mayans that have no contact with the Egyptians. How did they build pyramids too? <laughs> Drawing showing transportation of of how they would like transport stuff. I don't Yeah, it was like it was like sticks, right? Like logs on the ground they'd push or the water poured the in water the path. Stuff. So it was transportation, water poured in the path. They so they think that they would like pull it through sledge of like sand so they would water down the sand so 50% of the force needed to move a statue or something heavy with watered down sand which I mean they don't know they're just guessing that's that's it, all it is 4,500 is years ago 4,500 years ago I just don't think you could do it today I okay, really so it said documented the transport of white limestone along the Nile River to the Great Pyramid. 
So maybe they use the water. I don't know. But what kind of boat would you use? That's what I mean. Like, what could you really float 2.5 ton stones? Workers cut the stones close to the construction site, as indicated by the numerous finds of cutting tools. And finished blocks were placed, prepared on the prepared foundations. They don't know. They're no. freaking. No, that's the thing is there's no way you know. I just don't see how, because if you think about it, right, wouldn't it almost take one person's entire, because back then the average life expand was probably like 30 years old, right, is what they're saying. So you could have one person that could only maybe make like five or six of these stones in their entire lifetime. So it says most construction theories are based on the idea pyramids were built by moving huge stones from a quarry and dragging and lifting them into place. Disagreements arise over feasibility of the different proposed method methods by which the stones are conveyed and placed. I would like to see like a, a engineer, like ask an engineer, how would you build this? The way that this is built. Yeah, but a lot of them don't know. But then how do you build the, that precision? I don't know. It's it's there, it's got to be. I'm not saying it's aliens. It's got to be, but aliens. it's aliens. It's fucking aliens. <laughs> it's got to be, dude. I, I I'm a, I agree with you. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah. Did you try that popcorn I told you about? No, I gotta go get it. I'm gonna go right now and get some. I'm gonna get some popcorn. I need some. Uh, how many like how many bags are you gonna get this time? I get. Well, last time I got all the flavors. I'm gonna try the different cheese. I'm gonna go uh, probably six bags. Bring it back to the house. Kids love it. What's the name of it? I forgot. I don't know. You sent it to me. I sent you a picture of it. Um, that would be. It's only in New Hampshire. You can only get it in New Hampshire. Yeah, you could probably buy it anywhere. Did you see my simple. lawn? Yeah, baseball you field. Yeah, your baseball field. Nico's lawn care. So I bought this. Uh, it's called Big League Lawns. And it basically, what it, it's a roller that rolls your grass, so your lines are like real nice. Does it cut it too? No. So my, you put it behind your mower. Yeah. I sent you a picture of it, and the yeah. lines are just like straight as can be, and beautiful. I'm gonna go like diamond cut. I think I'm gonna do diamond today. I'm gonna go home and do it. <laughs> Change up the lines. Make those long care. What a life. Oh, pop, pop Z up. Pops up. How would you say it? Pop, pop, Z up or pops up. That's terrible. Pops up. Popcorn. Go try it if you're in uh, New Hampshire. If not, uh, you don't get it. Anyway. Pop, Z up. Pops up. Pops. It's pop, Z U P. Pops up. All right. We got, fan. we're going on the monster tonight. I'm going to get a 617 and a dog. You're going to the monster. I'm not going to the monster. I'm going. To, I'm in the field box. You're down at the field. In the field box. Yeah, I'll text you. Boxes. I'll text you across the way. So give you the double. You, so you're going to be there from the first pitch to the last pitch. Yeah, I'm going at four. I think we're going to leave at like four thirty. Where are you going to go? We're going to go walk around. Yeah. Have a couple, couple beers, a couple six one sevens. I don't think they. I don't know if any places around there sell. I think it's all inside. Whatever beer, it works. I think I have. I think I'm going into the one of the the clubs. I think beforehand, dude. I can't get over how fast. So my two boys, we took like the first day of school pick and the last day of school pick in one year. Is it? It's wild how kids just change right yeah i can't like it's nuts it's gonna have a beard soon <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna have, have more a, hair than you oh, you gotta go with the hair <laughs> pretty soon pretty soon we're gonna be we're gonna have nothing up top you gonna do the transplant no so i'm gonna just do gonna it. shave it and we'll both be bald and have massive beards and we'll be the two long hair long bearded brothers that's it so why don't you? Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna shave it soon then, or you're holding out hope? It's gonna be a tough day. I'm gonna need Is to go to a therapist. At some point, 
it's gonna go in the front, and then when it goes in the front, it's time to time to let you, it go. You gonna let it go? I'm hoping for you. F- you know, he's gonna leave the sides. I do the whole sides. I might pull it over. <laughs> Just pull the whole comb over. Over. We gonna right. do with ESPN? Uh, will they kick you out? If that's if yeah, you I don't definitely have, the hair? have a job there. That'll be over with. Why? Not gonna renew you? I can't have an ugly guy on TV. <laughs> Like, gotta be handsome. You gonna get renewed this year? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Wait to see. I don't know. Contracts wait. up in a couple months. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna get everything you can, they get out of you. July, June, August. No, so I got June, July, August, September first is when I usually start my new. When are they? Uh, when are you back on? Next week. Remote, or you have to be there. Connecticut. Oh, it's better than New York then, right? Better than New York. They're cutting back on a, on uh, on hotels expenses, hotels and travel. So, so what you don't get when you go to Connecticut, you don't get a hotel. No, I just drive in, and drive home. Okay, it's only an hour and forty ish. It's not bad. So we'll see, man. I might be a independent contractor, <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll really see the real Ninko come out because <laughs> this is just a fraction. <laughs> This is a very small controlled. sample. This is a very, very small sample of this me. This is the controlled, the this controlled, is the controlled version. Nenko. Yeah. A lot of my friends know the real me. <laughs> they think if I was myself even more, I would gain a lot of fanfare and lose some too. But that's all right. Yeah, I can see that. Because people would be like that guy. <laughs> people already do. I like Mac Jones thinks you're that guy. Okay. Mac Jones. Best of luck. I don't kid. know why you hate him. I don't hate Mac Jones. That's not the vibe you're giving. I don't. Off. I don't know why you hate. Why do you hate uh, Winovich? I don't hate Winovich. Well, you talk shit about him often because because that's the way he does. Like he comes like, out to do it. Like you know that he's something. He was something great. And you all don't that. think he Mac wasn't Jones does that sometimes? No, no, no. When the guy goes when to do three it? Taylor Swift concerts and dances around practice, he's like, eccentric. Tom Brady would film himself getting like the. Getting weird ass massages all the time. Weird massages? What's a weird massage? When like Alex Guerrero is like humping ask, your leg ask, while like ask, you're using a rolling pin that's on why you. I wasn't invited to the craft <laughs> thing. <laughs> talk about massages. I was there. Well, not anymore. When you go into the that thing, just got to see Ed Sheeran. Hey, that just goes to show you what if you got a little bit of dough, you get dough. Shit disappears. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that one. Oh yeah, you're not supposed well, to talk about that. My back hurts. You're gonna be kicked out. Oh, shoulder. So we, we got to get this. We at least got to get you throwing at least. Oh, let's do it. When are we gonna do it? Whenever. We just got to find a field and I'll freaking do it. I'll film myself throwing right now. I'll send it to you. Like, like Uncle Rico. I'll I'll we throw I'll it over the my house. Son, stand there. Hit the thing at fifty. And I'll throw it to him. I'll try and hit him in the head. <laughs> and I'll have him back up to 55. I'll try and hit him in the head. I'll go to 60. I'll hit him right on the head. Now we're going we're to have... Uh, and then I'll blow my shoulder out. I don't care. I'll blow the elbow out. Whatever. I think he'll do it in the first throw. What? You're going to blow your elbow or your shoulder no, on the first throw. No, I got to warm up first. I can't just... Yeah, you can warm up. I'm yeah. just saying. But when you actually try to make that first throw... No, I, can I, throw, I know I could throw a 50 right... Like, I could throw a ball 50 yards easy. Like a regulation size football. Easy. 50. Now, 60, I can. I know I can get it close to 60. 62 would have to be like, I got a, I got a crow hop, throw into it, get it the right way, get a nice spiral, get the ball turned over, get a nice flick with my hand. I, I think I can get close. I'm pretty, I'm, I could throw the hell out of a ball. 60. Been, been that way my whole life. 60 yards. Yeah. Easy. Not, I mean, not, I'm not saying easy, but I could throw the ball. But you're gonna pl- complain about like the wind. And well, all it's that gotta stuff. be. You can't have wind in your face. You gotta have a calm day. Can't be too humid. It slows the ball down. <laughs> That's exactly. Air pressure. It's low, gonna be. It's low. gonna be. No, I thought you wanted it pumped all the way up. No, you get, want it low so you can get a good. That's why Tom likes it. Yeah, but Aaron Rodgers likes it like overfilled. Does he? Yeah. That gives more weight to the ball though. But it, I guess it. Yeah, but it'll travel through the air better then. Uh, but you can't maybe I don't know I don't know I'm not a ball expert but and I told Dev I said uh, that you you said that you didn't send that clip of Bill to anybody he put no way <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I swear. Everyone's <laughs> blowing this thing up. All right. That went to 100 people. No, at least. Didn't. At least. All right. That's well, probably a wrap for now, that's though. That's a wrap for our show. And our... Let me get your laugh up. Ninko and his... L-O-B-B. 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 <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's a bad So what, one. you're off next week, then? They don't really kill them. Are you out? You're, you're going I'm going to leave Friday, but okay. I'll be back. I got to go Friday? to work. Yeah. Okay. Kids, family will stay. I'll come back, do my work. And then go back. Then go back, and then we'll probably we'll stay for the fourth, and I'll be back after. So we might do a remote, or I could just... I'll be away next week anyway. Yeah, so we're going to be back. We'll be back a couple weeks. There's really nothing going on anyway because of uh, Uh, NHL's gone. NBA, by the way, NBA, this is kind of funny. I was watching the game with my wife and Jokic. I was like, that's the best NBA player in the league right now. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah, look, he's really good. She's like, he looks kind of (laughs) unathletic. Dude's freak, though. Yeah. Yeah. Just straight tube arms. Oh, yeah. Just killing people. I love his demeanor, too. He's so Euro. Can I go home now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're doing a parade in two days. Oh, I can't. No, I have to go home. Like, <laughs> he wants, he's just like back, like, oh, we won the game. Yep. See ya. Champions. Peace. Can I go home? Yep. All right, that's it. I'm done. Done for the day. We'll see you guys soon. Check us out on dananenko.com, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. TikTok. Uh, Make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube, and we'll see you guys soon. All right, see you guys. Take care.